right, so right after Trump's arraignment, our very own Sarah Carter spoke with New Yorkers about Alvin Bragg's very weak case, and here's what they had to say. Do you think these charges are strong enough? Uh, definitely not. Definitely not. Is it frustrating to see what's happening? It's really frustrating. It's all one-sided. Right, right. and it, especially as Americans, as so many people that I talk to, they're worried that this is kind of like a Pandora's box, like we've opened up the floodgates, right? Yes, and it'll go back and forth forever now. I think yesterday, if he's guilty, he's guilty. He should be, he should be prosecuted for it and sent to prison, so. Yeah, you, th you think maybe the tr the charges are strong enough to... I to think so, yeah. If it's hush money, uh, didn't Bill Clinton do the same thing? Pretty much. Do you think the 34 counts that they're charging him with falsifying business records is going to be strong enough? Uh, I don't know. I hadn't seen all of the different counts. Um, if there's, if the counts were there, I mean, it may have had something to go along with it. We'll just have to see how it all turns out. Do you think like this is more of a political, a political move on the part of DA Bragg? Absolutely. Bragg is coming up with these charges and just trying to make anything stick. And, uh, and sadly, you know, we're all seeing it. It's definitely going to backfire. All right. Sarah joins us now on Saturday. Yeah! I love you. I love this audience. Woo! All right, so let's talk about what happened. You got accosted. You were confronted. By the way, here's a rule in New York. Never have a Fox News flag or a Hannity <laughs> Show flag on your microphone. And I walk around with a hat, dark glasses, and a mask. I look yes. like a liberal. I, I could, yes, uh, you, you do. People probably think you're a liberal. It's funny. Right. You know, I'm a war correspondent, Sean. So when right. I first started my career, it was either on the Mexican border, uh, covering the drug cartels, or going to Afghanistan and Iraq. And I got to tell you that being in New York at that moment, it was a lot more dangerous <laughs> carrying around the mic flag but for the most part people were great for the most part i think new yorkers were willing to you know talk to me and and open up uh, what we had to do i mean when i was going through that first part though when i was accosted and i think we have a video let's toss to it right now so you can yeah. see what happened we got it let's roll let's roll it It's like such an angry group of people. So angry. I can't believe y'all came over here. Let me guess, this is New York. Was that weed? Yeah, that was. I was like, it was like a constant secondary high as I walked through that <laughs> crowd. <laughs> yeah, and, uh, for people that live outside of New York, you walk the streets, that's all you smell. And that's it. It, it smells like a dead skunk. Yeah, I was surprised. I was surprised at how many people were smoking weed. But not only that, it was just this anger, you know, this yeah. young group, this very radicalized left. And you can see, you know, look, I wasn't angry at them. I wasn't going to get. Uh, By the way, you showed a lot of courage there and honestly I, I don't want to ever put you in danger you. seriously and I'm not joking when I say this you cannot walk the streets of New York with a shirt that says I like Sean Hannity or Donald <laughs> Trump you can't you know what I stick up for my friends I'm yeah. not afraid to say what I need to say this is America right. nobody's gonna keep me right. from speaking my mind I appreciate that and... but, but these Except Remember, for maybe the guy with the marijuana. Except for the guy with the weed, he yeah, <laughs> maybe and, he and, could keep me from. By the way, it, like, blows it right in your face. He blew it right in my face. And, you know, people were... I mean, you, you only saw a part of this. We couldn't run all of it. That particular group, they were yelling epitaphs at me. They were, you know, curse words. They were up in my face. These men were, like, directly in my face, in my space. And it was, it was a little frightening. But I got to tell you, you know, I've been through this before, Sean. And we just, you know, I, I just You've backed down. You've been to down. war zones. Right. You've been down to the Mexican border, across right. the Mexican border. I said, guys, I've been there. And you've been I've to the that. swamp in D.C. Yeah, yeah that's, that's probably the scary place to be. <laughs> That's true. The By the way, Sarah Carter, amazing yeah. job. Thank you. Oh, I appreciate it. No, thank